does matcha cause infertility? We have gathered the data, including the risks and the benefits, so you don't have to. I'm Dr. Samantha Vandewell, a naturopathic doctor with a focus on women's health. And when it comes to fertility and preconception, there is a lot of information when it comes to coffee and tea and whether or not it's safe to consume. Fortunately, we have some pretty significant data that matcha actually has fertility enhancing qualities thanks to polyphenol compounds and specifically epigallocatechin gallate or EGCG, which combats free radicals and improves both sperm and egg quality. Studies have also found this compound to improve the severity of symptoms associated with uterine fibroids, endometriosis, and overall inflammation causing menstrual pain due to its antifibrotic and pain relieving mechanisms. And lastly, matcha has also been shown to improve metabolic parameters in individuals experiencing PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome, which may enhance their fertility outcomes. Ample research has suggested, however, that there is a risk associated with too much caffeine and neural tube defects like spina bifida, as well as miscarriage. You can minimize this risk by reducing caffeine consumption to 200 milligrams per day, which is equivalent to about two cups of matcha per day. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like this post and be sure to give Bird and Be a follow for more evidence-based fertility tips.